All right, so look, so this is Colab. Uh, notice like I made a table of contents view, table of contents on or off, on. Just a, a way to, to have a table of contents. Okay, so talk about data types. Now, if I click here, this is markdown. It's not, it's not code. I'm gonna do, first let me get rid of the table of contents. Insert code cell. All right, so we have the basic data types, for example, an integer. And integers are the numbers what? Minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. Okay, now we can make an integer by just saying anything. We could say Walker equals two, we could say x equals two. Use any name you want. Now, there are some rules about this. Like you cannot use, you cannot start a variable name with a number. If I do that, that'll give an error. Starting up collab. See, and you can't do that. You could have X1. That's okay, right? Now, <clears throat> okay. Other kind of numbers are called decimal. Okay, decimal is what you say in math class. That's in math class. Now, in computers, we call it floating point. The reason it's floating point is, think of it like this, right? Like the, here's the decimal point, 22.456, 20.284.123. They just call it floating point. Okay, so we can make, let's see, let's make Y be equal to, 2.3. And everyone understands why it's a decimal number, right? <clears throat> now, it's often very important to know what kind of data you're working with. So you can just ask it type. You can say, what type is Y? If I say type Y, it'll say, Oh, it's a float, a floating point number, right? And I can say, what type is X1? It's an integer. Okay. <clears throat> now, we also, okay. Well, you would also call these, another thing you call these is you call them primitives. Primitive or scalar. It just means, you know, the, the, it just means a number. It's, it's nothing complicated. Complicated data types have, are not primitives. They're, they're, they're just something different than primitive. <clears throat> okay, so... What happens if you take X and Y? What do you think this is? What do you think type X1 divided by Y? What do you think that's going to be? It's X1 divided by Y. Yeah, what type is it? In other words, you're taking, you're right. What about, what about this? What about one divided by three? What's that going to be? Like uh, it's going to be a float because because one divided by three is not an integer, is it? It's this number here. Okay, now 
let's see here. We also have Booleans. Uh, Boole Boolean is a very important computer. It basically means true or false. So we set it up like this. We could say, again, someone's not on mute. I can't really see who's not on mute. Um, it's Pavlo again. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> see, so we can give it any name. Let's call it, let's call it Pavlo equals. Now you have to say true with a capital letter. If I say Pavlo is True, that, that'll give an error. Okay, so Pablo is true and Eleni is false. Okay. Now, true or false is going to be important. For example, let me go down here and talk about what I was going to talk about in a few minutes, which is the if statement. Let's run this now. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, let's just type the word Pablo. What do you think it's going to say? True. It's going to make an error. Let's see what happens. It's true. Let's say it's Maria. If I put in here Maria, what do you think is going to happen? <clears throat> it's going to be true no. or false? No, or... that's why I didn't mention it. So like this, see, this is correct. So I will learn your names eventually, but whoever's talking is right because we have not created Maria yet. Error. See? Yeah, it's going to give an error. We have not given it a value. What is Maria? No, if we can fix it like this, we would say, we would say Maria equals, we could say, look, we could say Maria equals X1 times Y. All right, print Maria. Let's print Maria. Then let's say print the type of Maria. Okay, it's a float. Maria is a float. Okay, now true or false? So so if statements are like this, we say, we say, if something's true, then do something, do something. This is what programming is all about. Programming is about algorithms. Now, does anybody know what an algorithm is? It's just, it's, it's yeah. written instructions. Written instructions. That is, this is, this is, um, this means that is computer code. So here, I can say if true, I'll say print. This is true. Let's run this and see what happens. This is true. Now, what if I put this? If Pablo What's that going to do? Make an error? No. What is Pablo equal to? It's going to print true. This is true. So we put Pablo up here. True, see? That is going to print this is true. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go back a little bit further up. See, Elena, I spelled Elena's name correctly. Now, what about this? If Eleni print. It's not going to print anything. Why? Because Elena is not is not true. Elena is false. Right. Now what about this? Now, see, I'm going fast. I can tell some of you have 
already got programming experience. I'm going to have to go slower, and I will have extra classes for people who are, have questions. But what about this? It's going to not do anything because it's um, it, it going gonna to work because... Sec, 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 sec. Yeah. So I made it. Because it is false. Uh, and it understands it's that it's false. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so let's go back up and explain what that means. See? Okay, up here, up here, I said... I said x equals 3, or, well, we use, yeah, okay. So this means what? This means create the variable x and put the value 3 into it, right? But if you do this, if you say x equal equal 3, that means test. That's test. It means check to see if the statement is true. Right? So what is this going to say? Just like true or false. Like, it's going to be true. Yeah, true. Because we said that x equals true. True. Now, there's many ways to do this. We can say... If we could also do this, it's the same thing, right? This and this is the same code. What it, no, this first line does this. It says, it says, look at this thing here. It says, is this thing true? If so, print true. That's an if statement. Now we can also do this. We can say, we can say else print false. So let's change this to be four. Now let's run this. What's it going to say? False. We'll say false. It will say false because x is not 3. Yeah. Now there's... Okay, so we have here, we have... Let's go back up to this list here. Math operators. And I wanted to expand this. It's hard for you to read it this way. We have... We have math operators and we have logical operators. Now just ignore this. I'm, I'm I'm doing it like this. When I do it like this, see it makes it it makes it with a nice format. See on the right. So we have we have operator, and then we have I don't know means. Okay, so we know this means what? This means equals to. This means bigger than. Okay, now let's explain how that works. So <clears throat> let's write this. X equals... Let's try another letter. Z equals three. And that's right. <clears throat> Z bigger than two. What's that going to say? True. Mm. See? So this is a little bit abstract. Now, if I do this, what is this going to say? Type. So it's going to print three. It's going to say Boolean. It's going to say Boolean. Why? Why? Remember? Okay, remember. Because okay. Is, is it true or false? Right. So let's go back and put 
put that up here, data types. See, Boolean, I need to make another. Um, there's not room here, but I guess I'll just write here. So this just means true or false. It can be one word or it can be a statement. Like, you know, you could say, we, we can't, we can't do it here, but we could say like, you know, well, look like this, weather. It is raining. So this, this, okay, is, is a Boolean, you know, if we say, you know, we could say, ask the question, is it raining? We would have to check and see, well, let me see here. Let me see if this will work. I know this looks look a little bit strange. First, we give it a value, and then we see if they're equal. It's true. See, now, we did not talk about weather. Go back up a little bit. Data types. Uh, I'm going to take all that out because it's taking too much space. Okay. There's characters. Some programming languages are called strings. For example, A, B, whoops, whoops. A, B, C. Or A, A, that's, that's an example. So here is an example of a, I'm going to say string, because in, for example, in Java, Java, they say string. You know, in C++, they say character. In Python, I don't know what they use because, well, I sort of do. They have this thing called CHR function. But anyway, so... <clears throat> Okay, let's say here's Mate. Here's we have one student name in this name. So he's going to be equal to Matvi. So now I can let's make lowercase here. Okay, so now he has a value. Okay. Now if we type this. What's it going to say? Mati with a, a big case. What if we happen? What if we type this? What's it going to say? It's going to say the, the, there's uh, nothing there's assigned. There's a small one with the, um, with the, the small one. going to say no. There is, there, there is no such variable. Yeah, there is no such Yeah. No, so listen, if, if you are new to programming, these are some things you have to, to know. For example, for example, in computers, in computers, A is not equal to A, right? So case matters. See? Yeah. Now let's go back up here. Where was that list of operators? Operators. Pablo again, on mute. Okay, let's see here. Where are the operators? Okay, so we have bigger than. Obviously, this is, well, you don't say bigger than. The actual word is greater than. See, notice when I'm typing on the left, on the right, it's it's filling it out. Uh, let me see here, example. Remember, this is called Markdown. This is not Python. This is just a way to do documentation. Okay. 
2 equals 2. Three is bigger than two. Less than so. See how well you know math. Is this true? Yes. Yeah. This is true. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Whoops, I have to put this on the end. Okay. Now there's there's also not. There's We'll come back and put some examples in. There's an and. There's or. There's even something called the exclusive or, which we won't deal with right now, but that's called exclusive or. Okay. What do you think this means? Mm, greater than, than or equal. equals. Right, greater than or equal to. For example, this is true. Yes. Yes. And so um, is. Now. I'm going to go slow because some of you are, are older than some other students and maybe have more experience programming. Oh, look what I'm – see, this gets messed up if I don't – one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I'll fix that later. Okay, anyway, so for example, so is three bigger than two? Yeah. Well, let's yes. go back and do it. Let's, let's get, right. Actually, is three greater than or equal to? Greater than or equal to three? No. Oh, three. Yes. 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 Now, let's write this out. See, see this, this is one case. This is a short way to write, you know, is three... equal to three or three bigger than three. And one thing I forgot, I forgot for a minute now, I forgot for a minute here, let's look this up, true and true. I forget how you say true and in Python, it's either gonna be this or it might be this, or it might be this. I forgot. Let's just try it out here. Now remember, use the tools. Use perplexity. Perplexity. That's what I use the most. Okay, how do you say and and or in Python? Say it with words, like you have to type and true and and true. All right, it's lowercase, lowercase. So what I put up here is should be lowercase, N-O-T. Is that what you said? I wasn't listening real closely. I was thinking about this. I'm not sure if this is spelled right. See, so we could write this. We could write this. Where did it go? We could write this some. Um, in two ways. These two things are the same, right? We could we could do it like this. We could say the short way. In English, you also say short and, for example. This is the same thing as saying this. It's saying 
3 bigger than 3 or 3 equals 3. You see that? Do you want to see what error I have? This is a very common error. Uh, probably the case of this uh, equal mark, it must yes, be yes, yes. like two or three of them. You see, the problem with this is with that. See, when I write, when I write three equals three, that means put the number three into three. You can't change that. Not allowed. So I needed to put this. True. Now, <clears throat> again, what type of statement is this? So, Boleyn? Hey, Boleyn? It's the Boolean. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, <clears throat> some things else to look at. Let's look at something easier because because um, I know this can be a little bit difficult. Okay, so, well, I need an example of not. How do you say not? You say, I need to put that in here. We say, three not equal. See, in some programming languages, you do like this, not equal to two. I think that's how you do it. That's right, yeah. But then I can think we can say, can we say this? Three, not, I don't think you can do that. Not valid. So let's say you cannot use the word N-O-T. I'm sure you can somewhere. So we say, well, put it in here like this. Not equal to. Okay, so to go back for a minute here. So we can say C is equal to four. What type is C? What would I say? Integer. Yeah, it'll say integer. Now we want to say print C is equal to C. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put quote marks around it. So I want some text here. I want to put some text. So I'll do like this, right? Now, if we do this, suppose we do this. Suppose we say, you know, look at this interesting number. One divided by three. Okay, look at this, see? This is kind of a mess, isn't it? If you go to the bank and 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 tell them you want that amount of money, they they will just laugh at you, right? Because because we don't write that. You know, we're working with money, we say zero dot three three. So how do we handle that? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Let's see, let's see here. Um, for example, we can do it like this. Now I might have to look this up again because you know I've been programming Python for a lot longer than you kids your age, but sometimes I forget stuff. So let's see here. Uh, okay, print using only two decimal positions. 
I believe you do the C. Now I'm going to probably look this up. I think it's like 2.f, something like this. And then we say, I'm going to have to look this up, I'm sure. Okay, wait a minute here. How do you print in Python a float with using with using only two decimal positions? Oh, that looks kind of funny. There's a bunch of ways to do it. This is the one I want. See, look at this. There's one, two, three, four ways to do this. I like to use this one here. So I put, I was pretty close. You have to put the dot here. That makes sense, right? That makes sense. You put the dot and then you This means what? It means two decimal positions. You put these little things around like this. Why well, am I getting an error? It says unsupported operation for string and integer. So it says I'm trying to do something. Oh, you know, I, I just, yeah, I know what the problem is. <clears throat> Why did that work now? Oh, I see. I see. That will work. Now, why was I getting this error before? It's something I needed to talk about. Because you need to convert from integer to a string. No, no, it's gonna be, okay. it's gonna be like this. Okay. The the computer got confused. Here's what the computer thought I was doing. In fact, it's easier to see it with math. Okay. One thing we got to talk about is. I put a, I had a place for it. Okay. We have to talk about precedence, order of operations, order, or I think it's called precedence, precedence, or order of operations. The reason I got this error before was it thought I was trying to do this. It thought I was trying to do something like this. Take this and then divide it by three. Could you divide that by three? See, it's easy if you put parentheses around it. It, it said, it looked at this, it thought I was trying to do this. And we can't possibly divide uh, string. Exactly text. right. Let me see here. Let me see here. What, what is three? Let me check something out here. Three, two. I think two is a math operator. Yeah. See, this is an operation. There's an operator called... Let's go back up here and put it here. Where was my list um, of operators? This is a remain or some stuff like this. Hmm? Uh, is this a remain? Remaining of the division, yeah? Remainder, yeah. 
We'll talk about that one later. So, so, so we use this little thing here. See, when we we can print things a lot of ways. For example, I can use this here. I believe I can use, I think the other way is to say, let's do this. Is it like this? I'll forget. Dot format. Is that right? I don't remember if that's right or not. No, it was given it over here. You can use the word format. Well, that would look correct. Oh, it doesn't like, this one doesn't like this thing here, see? This type wants you to use this thing here. So here's another way to do it, right? Okay, now, how can we print out X equals, I think we do, if we wanted to do this, I think we can do this. Yeah, see, so that's the placeholder here, right? If I do this, suppose I do this, suppose I say, okay, we say, okay. Um, okay, Walker equals Walker. Okay, Elias equals Elias. Ella, that's spell right? El Eleni equals. You spell this right the uh, other time also. Okay, so I could say this. I could say print. One, two, three things. Those are like placeholders because we want to put we want to put text in here. We want to say hello. Who are you know? We want to put we want to put text in there, but then we want to put data in there too. Who are you, right? So we say format. Then we give it the th four things: Walker. Elias, Eleni, like this. See, there's millions of ways to print. Now, I was talking about, about precedence and order of operation. So in, in your math class, you know, you're taking algebra, whatever. You know, you put parentheses around things. Like you say, two times three plus four times five. Why do you do this? Why do you put parentheses? Well, that's the first thing we should uh, like count. Yeah, it tells it, it tells it, okay. It says, it does two things. It, one, makes easier to read and to then you you tell it you tell it what order to put things to to do the math for example three because you know the question here is is you know is is this Is this equal to this? Or equal to 
this. This is called precedence of operations of um <clears throat> let's just try it here. We will we can figure this out like this, Casey. Three times seven is twenty-one. 